My name is Gareth Morris. I was born in Manchester and now I live in Mottram St Andrew in Cheshire. I wasn't given the opportunity to learn Welsh when growing up because I went to school in Manchester and that wasn't an option. Um, my dad, however, is from Barmouth and has uh, very good Welsh speaking skills, um, but obviously he doesn't use those skills anymore. So he didn't actually take the time to teach us Welsh, um, but he did speak in Welsh at home at times, especially when he was swearing. I think that um, people within Wales, especially my, my cousins, my auntie, my uncle, um, they're very passionate about Wales as a country and the Welsh language. And I think that although I've got Welsh heritage, they would definitely see me as slightly less Welsh because I can't speak the language. I think that um, if you live in Wales, that to be regarded as truly Welsh, you should be able to speak some Welsh. However, there will be a lot of people that live in South Wales, which is predominantly English speaking, who are passionate Welsh people, but wouldn't actually be able to speak the language. So they may, may have a different opinion. Um, I never felt excluded from a conversation that my dad was having in, in Welsh, um, but certainly when going to Wales and listening to my dad, communicating with his uh, family and, and friends, um, obviously you couldn't understand what they were actually saying, um, but given it was your family, you still didn't feel excluded because they could always explain in English what, what was being discussed. In terms of my Welsh heritage, um, I remember going to Wales um, multiple times a year to see my family and spending time in, in Barmouth, which had a beautiful beach and an arcade, which was great, great fun as a kid and spending time with my uh, Nine and Tide, which is Welsh for uh, Grandma and Grandpa. I also remember uh, going at Easter and um, eggs melting in the back of the car on the way. I remember uh, one Easter, the, the beach being so hot that we burnt our feet. And my Nine used to live uh, literally 30 seconds walk away from the, the the beach so it was kind of a nice place fun place to to go to as, as a child um, in terms of holding on to my welsh heritage um, probably the main way i do that is is through rugby and i'm a passionate welsh rugby fan um, i've been to see wales numerous times many times at the millennium stadium and I also uh, make sure that if Wales play in the Six Nations or, or the World Cup, that I'm, I'm, I'm cheering the team on. And I feel far more emotionally attached to Welsh rugby because it represents the people. And I don't feel any connection to English rugby at all, but very passionate about Welsh rugby.